Rumor has it that even the muscle car segment will not be able to escape the age of electrification. The industry's favorite models have already been confirmed for a rebirth with an EV heart. And today, we'd like you to be the first to learn about the news. In this video, we gathered to the freshest news about the electric muscle cars. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and let's say goodbye to the era of great V8 muscles and welcome the new age of EVs. We start the motors now! Charge Mustang Contrary to the deceiving looks, this is not a Restomod Mustang, but rather a brand new all-electric vehicle. The London-based Charge Cars, use an officially licensed 1967 Mustang shell, add strong yet lightweight composite body panels, and install a powerful dual-motor powertrain from a rival. The car is offered in the classic rear and all-wheel drive versions, with a maximum output of 536 horses and 1,106 pound-feet. The motors are spawned by a 64 kilowatt-hour battery pack that yields 200 miles of driving and can recharge at 50 kW. According to Charge, acceleration to 60 should take just 3.9 seconds, and you will be able to speed to 149 miles per hour. The interior of the car can be customized according to the buyer's preferences, so each of 499 planned production units can be rather bespoke. The interior offers a variety of upholsteries, from aniline leather to non-leather performance fabrics. Seats have bucket design, there's a digital driver's cluster, vertical infotainment, and a high-end audio system with eight flex cone speakers and a DVC subwoofer. Dodge Charger Daytona SRT You know it's over for the V8 muscle cars if the segment's undisputed leader finally throws in the towel and announces the transition to electrification. The next Charger will have a pure EV heart and will be definitely based on the e-muscle concept labeled Daytona SRT. The newcomer will ride on the 800V architecture by Stellantis named Banshee. We do not know the exact performance numbers, but for sure, the electric charger will be an overachiever. Dodge has promised to beat the SRT Demon, so expect under 2.3 seconds 0 to 60 and over 200 miles per hour top speed. This is an all-wheel drive electric model, but it does compensate for the lack of the rear-wheel drive thrills and engine rumbling with some curious solutions. The Dodge Charger Daytona SRT will be equipped with a multi-speed transmission that gives drivers the feeling of distinctive shift points. For even more gut-punching launches, there is a special power boost mode, and the incredible sound of the hungry V8 engine is mimicked by the unique Fertzonic chambered exhaust that generates a 126 decibel scream. If you agree that muscle cars should transition to electric powertrains, then make sure that the like button is smashed. If you disagree, then visit the comment section and let us know why. Thanks for the feedback, and we keep rolling. Chevrolet Ecopo Camaro This electrified version of the legendary drag racing car was built in partnership with Hancock and Lane Racing to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the original Copo Camaro. The model debuted GM's unique drivetrain and the world's first ever 800V battery pack which consists of four 200V modules strategically located for the optimal weight distribution. The sports car is motivated by two Borg Warner HVH motor assemblies, generating a total of 700 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque. The power is channeled to the solid rear axle through the same race-tuned Turbo 400 automatic as used by the production Copo Camaros. Chevrolet claims that the e Copo can cover a quarter mile in just 9.51 seconds, reaching the trap speed of 140 miles per hour. Interestingly, unlike most concept cars which are not eligible for sale and often cannot be driven, the e Copo Camaro was actually auctioned off by Russo and Steel at $425,000 reserve price, 
but unfortunately, at the time, it failed to find a buyer. Ford Pro Electric Supervan Ford believes that any of their cars have the potential to become a true American muscle, even if we are talking about a humble MPV. The story of the Supervan dates back to 1971, when the first-generation Transit was fitted with a mid-mounted engine from the Le Mans-winning Ford GT40. Since then, the van received two more versions, and now it is trying out an electric drivetrain for the first time. Based on the e-Transit Custom, the model gets new motorsport-grade front and rear subframes, an equal-length double wishbone suspension on each corner, and a completely different lightweight composite bodywork. The front light bar creates a futuristic appearance, while the aero elements look like they belong on a race car. Motivated by a quartet of electric motors, the electric supervan peaks at 2,000 horses and accelerates to 60 in 2 seconds. These numbers make it the most powerful and the quickest supervan ever made. Finally, we should mention that this model has a load space behind the driver, so it is still capable of carrying some cargo. Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray the electric Tsunami is about to swallow one of the most iconic sports cars from the American manufacturers. In 2015, Chevy trademarked the name E-Ray, so the newcomer is almost guaranteed to carry this moniker. Rumors suggest that, at first, it will be released as a hybrid model, while a full electric VAT should arrive for 2024. It will have a price tag above 100 grand and will be underpinned by the GM's new Altium platform already used by the Hummer EV and Cadillac Lyric. It can have 3 to 4 electric motors and an 800 volts battery pack. The system should provide 1000 horses of max output, will support fast charging at 350 kW and will feature all new energy recovery capabilities. This means using the battery heat to warm the cabin and even increase acceleration. Genovation GXE Before Chevrolet even had in mind turning the VAT into an all-electric car, a company in California was already performing such bespoke conversions for the previous generation Corvette C7. Presented back in 2018, the Genovation GXE capitalizes on the brand's previous successes, including the 2017 street-legal EV speed record set by an electrified C6. Instead of internal combustion components, the model features a 60 kWh battery mounted up front, with two 800V inverters on its sides. Each is connected to an electric motor that, combined, generate 800 horsepower and 718 pound-feet. All elements of the system are liquid-cooled. Plus, to make driving more engaging, the GXE still has a gearbox. Customers can choose between a 7-speed manual or a dual-clutch automatic with pedal shifters. The car has a proven top speed of 211.8 mph, but Genovation promises to raise it to 220 miles per hour. Apart from the new drivetrain, the GXC is distinguished by 3D printed grille, carbon arrow elements, and new circular taillights. The wheels are also made of carbon fiber and are fitted with carbon ceramic Brembo brakes. What do you think about the upcoming electric muscle? Are these EVs a worthy substitute for the mighty V8s of the gasoline era? We'll be discussing this in the comment section, so join in. Remember to smash the like button to support the electric revolution, watch more informative videos through the links in the screen, and subscribe to Automotive Territory. Stand with Ukraine, and the torque will always be with you.